Okay. Uh, how does ego impact our relationships to ourselves and others? Hmm. <clears throat> It makes it less beautiful. It makes it uh, bumpy and ugly and painful. And what is relationship to ourselves? There's nothing like that. We can only relate to others. How can you relate to yourself? We, we are creating some phantom object called self and then trying to relate to it. The self doesn't have any form and we cannot be aware of the self. A camera cannot take its own photograph. How can you love yourself, know yourself, um, what? Relate to yourself. So, well, just think about it. It's not even possible. And we're trying to do impossible things like love ourselves. How can we do that? You're being harsh and you're judging something. What is that you're judging? Self-flagellation. What is self-flagellation? How, how do you beat yourself up? What are you beating up? Explain to me. I don't know these things. How do you beat yourself up? Do you know? Does anyone know? I don't even know how to beat myself up. because I, I don't know myself. I can't see myself. I can't perceive myself. Myself is only an inference. Like looking in the mirror and saying, you're too fat. Is that a, a good example of beating yourself up? Yeah, basically telling yourself okay. you're fat. Now you're looking at your body and you're thinking that you're the body. There's nothing more stupid than that. The stupid guy, Arjun, was doing it now. Krishna slapped him many times. He didn't get it only. And somehow he convinced him like, like if you're not going to fight now, see what I'll do. Then he showed him some scary, scary form, and then he had to like, okay, 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 okay. Everyone reading the Bhagavad Gita has a sense of self. I mean, has a self image. Otherwise, why you need that book? The book is written for idiots. It's all about sense of self. It's all about giving up your, about uh, coming to your true nature, which is no self. You can't even know yourself. Even Patanjali said in the Yoga Sutra that you can't know yourself. And everybody said it. Anybody's thought little deeply is understood, ah, we can't know ourselves. You can't beat yourself up. What you're beating up is some something that you've identified with. And and yeah, that's 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 ego. Because you have an objection to it. You have an objection to being fat. You know what? Those who want to solve the problem of being fat, they'll eat better. They'll, they'll probably learn some little bit about their body, they'll figure out the problem, and they'll reverse whatever is causing it. You know, there's cause and effect in this world. If we find the cause, then we can reverse it. You know, and that's what people do. That's how you solve problems. But. Uh, Instead, you beat yourself up. Like, this is so productive, right? And you feel nice in that. You feel, I know better how, how this body should be. No, this body is that way because it couldn't be any other way. There's no way your body could be any other way. Because of everything around it. And to make someone fat, it's not, it's not just that body's action that made it fat. So many things that happen to the body that now it has to have fat. It has to have fat. It's, if, it, if it removes its fat, it's going to suffer with something. So you have to find out what will happen if, you, if it removes the fat. 
if that body removes the fat, then something scary is going to happen and that's why it's holding on to the fat. There's a reason for it. You find out that reason and then that's the problem, that reason is the problem. You solve that problem and the fat will melt away in a few months. You know? I used to be fat man and my, my, my body used to be fat, not myself. <laughs> myself is just an inference, okay? <laughs> my self is formless. But my body used to be very fat and then uh, what happened? The day I got separated from my ex-wife, within a month, I lost so much weight, I can't believe it. It just like melted off. Where did it go? How did it go? It's the fastest weight loss program, divorce. So fast it was. Everything gone, suddenly my health is all good until I went and got the next girlfriend. And then, that time I didn't get fat yet. So there was a problem with me being sexy, I guess which I dreaded, the, the whole, if I got attention from other women, how, what would happen to me in the marriage. That was the fear which kept me fat. And I was trying all sorts of things, diets, gyms, personal trainer, martial arts, everything I was trying, nothing is working. Because the body has to be fat for the environment in which it is. Fat is safe. If you don't solve the problem of uh, the hostile environment uh, to you being sexy, then you'll never be sexy. That's what you have to understand. So whatever you are right now, you need it. It's serving a purpose. and You might think that, I don't want this, but you can't handle not being that. But you can very much handle being it. So stop beating yourself up. I mean, what is that beating yourself up? What is this nonsense? How can you even beat yourself up? It's not even possible. You're doing some impossible thing and thinking that you're beating yourself up. You can't. <laughs>